A warm welcome, my friends. Namaste. Namaste. We are so happy to be here today for this session of Sacred Healing Yoga to increase your healing abilities so that you can use your healing hands on yourself and on others. Yes, all people have healing in their hands and we're going to show you two simple but very powerful and effective um, ways or exercises to increase your healing capacity in your hands. So if you're a healing practitioner, this will be very beneficial uh, in your work. And if you're going to use it on yourself and you thought that you didn't have healing hands, you're going to get maybe a first experience of actually feeling some energy in your hands. Yes, what we will do is we will demonstrate together with you guys uh, two simple exercises. So Lila will show you one and I will show you another. And while we do those exercises, it's very important to keep the breath inside. You don't breathe and you hold your breath during the exercises. So you breathe in and then you hold your breath during the exercises and then you start to breathe normally again when you rest. And when we practice yoga, it's very important to rest. So in between the exercises, we always take a little, little rest when we just watch the breath watch the breathing movement, the movement in the body, and today especially in the hands and in the arms, so we can, we can feel and we can sense the chi. Because when we, when we put up our hands like this, we can actually start to feel something between our hands. If you just do this, You can feel the energy between your two hands. And when we do one of these exercises, we will enhance that energy. And that chi energy, we will move that chi energy to Pachamama. And then we will bring that energy up and start to work with your own centers. Because we have centers from the top to the bottom, they're called chakras, energy centers. So we will work with the centers below the heart today, we will work with the Manipura Chakra and we will work with the Swadhisthana Chakra. So, you can continue to explain about your exercise and what the benefits is and how they can do it. All right, so when we do uh, this exercise, you might get a burning sensation in your arms and then I want you to just step back a little bit from your body and of course experience the sensation in your shoulders or arms but at the same time feel the graciousness of just being in the moment when you feel something is a little bit discomfortable try to find the comfortable and maybe put a smile on your face while you do it and you will feel that you go beyond the sensation in your arms or shoulders if you get that sensation. Otherwise, you just practice along with exercise. And what I want you to think about when I say bring your arms up, please don't touch your hands together until I say to touch your hands because we're creating this magnetic field around the hands which will be felt more powerful if you don't bring your hands together until uh, I say so. Very good and very interesting. So, so do you have any questions before we start the class? Do you want to share something more? Yeah, I just want to touch a little bit uh, about our health. Because why are we doing this? What is the purpose of doing these exercises? What is the purpose of activating the hands? So in the bottom of it is to find a better health so you can become more healthier both in the mind in your emotions and in the physical part 
of your being. And while starting to working with the hands and with the arms, we can attain something called super health. So you can become super healthy. That means that the centers will work properly. The astral body will be cleansed and the physical body will move into what we can say another dimension of health by doing those exercises every day. So what is important is when we do exercises is that we have consistency, that we do them every single day, right? So we don't just do them like once a week and then, ah, oh, they didn't work for me. You have to be consistent. And sometimes when we do practice yoga or we practice meditation, we have resistance. And I know I have it sometimes, I have experienced it, and I'm very, very sure that you also have experienced that, that sometimes it's like, no, today, just this exercise, I can't stand it, right? Or, oh my God, not this one, this is so boring. And why do we react in, in that way? That is because the level of the voltage in our mental and our emotional energy. And when the mental energy is low, we don't have enough energy to just do it with happiness. So we create automatically from ourselves resistance. And by doing those exercises that we are teaching you now, you will help yourself to move beyond that resistance. And when that resistance disappear in your practice, it will also disappear in your regular life. For example, if you do the dishwashers or you leave your kids in the kindergarten or you go to your job, so everything is interconnected, which is very, very nice. So that is my experience of doing the practice of those exercises on a daily basis. So I'm excited to see if you like it and what you will experience when you do it yourself. Yes, we are super excited to share the Sacred Healing Yoga with you guys tonight. So before we start with the class, I just saw a comment that the sound is good for some and the sound is not good. So just leave us an extra comment. How is the sound uh, for you before we start? So what you will experience tonight is uh, we're going to go um, into a more meditative state while we do uh, the exercises. I'm going to make some sounds and after we've done these two very, very powerful exercises, you have the opportunity to receive sacred healing vibration transmission via Shiva. So in the end, we will just ask you to leave a comment if you would like to uh, receive. So everything is perfect now. Amazing. Thank you. Perfect. All is good. Thank you, Julia, Vanessa, Shefshin. Awesome. Happy that it's working. We had some <laughs> issues here walking around like try here, try here, try that. So now we have a good connection. So we will start with the, with the first yeah. uh, round of exercises. And the first round, you just watch Lila do it. And the next round, if you have the opportunity, you can join from wherever you are. Yeah, I want you to join and try it right away. But if like you tonight. are on a bus, so you're driving a car or something, or watching if us. If you're on a bus, you have to try it as well. But you try it in your mind. Like, really feel and visualize your body trying uh, and doing it. <laughs> and if you are in a car, maybe you should have watched the yeah, road. If, <laughs> if you're in a car, <laughs> just turn us off right now. Because <laughs> this is going to be a deep session, and you don't want to uh, meditate in the car. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> While no. you're driving, I mean. So I will move away a little bit so you can see exactly how the exercise so first of all, is working. I want you to find a place where you can sit uh, comfortable. Well, not super comfortable because this uh, first exercise we're going to do, you're actually going to sit on your feet. So here on your feet, sorry, uh, <laughs> you have some, some energetic points. So when you press those points under your feet, they correspond to different glands in your body. So for example, the, the pineal gland, the pituitary gland, and the thyroid, and the parathyroid gland. And this is very helpful in our practice. So you sit up uh, straight on this part of your foot. So you're sitting on your heels, and your toes are pointing forward. Maybe I can see if I can 
film move, my feet. <laughs> yeah, if I move like this, so, here's my foot. Then you see how is yeah. So this so, position is the right one. Yeah. So it might be uh, not super comfortable uh, to sit like that, but I encourage you to sit like that for as long as possible when we do this exercise. Um, don't take your arms down. We're gonna have the arms out. So if you feel you have to release your feet because it gets too uncomfortable with your toes, just slowly shift down, but keeping your arms up. So I just want you to try that seated position uh, right now. But before we get started with the exercises, find a comfortable position and close your eyes. Take a few really deep breaths using your abdomen. Inhale and feel your abdomen expand and slowly exhale, squeezing the air out. Inhale deeply, abdomen expanding and exhale slowly, abdomen contract. Take a few deep breaths like that. And if you feel comfortable to do it out loud with me and Shiva, make the sound ah. So we're gonna move through the body from the root up to the crown. So stopping for each of the major energy centers, infusing that center and giving that center energy and attention using the vibration ah so you can sing out loud with us or just feel the vibration from our voices in each part of your body deep inhalation so again at the root, the base of your spine. Ah. surface below you. Now imagine or sense a large energetic cord attached to your root going all the way down to the center of the earth connecting you to Pachamama. 
Now draw this energy up from the center of the earth. Inhale. Draw it up, up through your body to the crown, the top of your head. Now feel this energetic cord attached to your crown, going out, 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 and up, up, up into space and infinity. So feel the cosmic energy pulling you up. And the earth energy drawing you down. You're standing strong or floating in between those two. Now bring your arms out parallel to the floor. And sit on your feet. Deep inhalation. Long exhalation. Now start to draw circles with your hands. Try to keep your arms straight out. Your hands are drawing circles. Keep breathing deeply and slowly. Now change direction, circles to the other side. Arms are still, hands are circling almost feel like you're being torn apart so you're being drawn into each direction in the direction of your arm now make fists circle again like with fists deep inhalations long exhalations Circle the other direction. Stretching to each side, circling around. Now fingers out, we really stretch the fingers as far out to the sides as you possibly can. We really feel the stretch all the way out into your fingertips. Now make a fist, spread the fingers wide, make a fist, wide, 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 keep going, keep going, faster, faster, wide, 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 remember to breathe, keep going, spread the fingers wide and make fist wide, 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 and now inhale and reach your arms up. Feel the sensations in your hand. Don't let your hands touch. Now slowly bring your arms down, palms facing down. Exhale, hands down. Now you're sending your healing energy. Feel it or imagine it. Sending your healing to the earth, slowly bringing them down, down. Now you inhale and reach up, 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 up. Exhale, bringing them down. Feeling the energy compressing beneath your hands. Inhale. 
Inhale, reach up. Exhale, palms facing towards you. Now hold your hands over your throat area. And here you can start to sense inner your body and or in your hand a sensation. Bring it to your heart. Moving slowly but playfully with your hands. You might sense that your hand wants to move in a certain direction or it wants to be still. Down to your abdomen. Listen, watch, observe sensation in your body. Now inhale, reach your arms up. Now let your palms touch. To play mudra and bring it down in front of your heart. And again, watch the sensations in your body as these two energies merge. And feel connections between the hemispheres in your brain in your heart. And slowly relax your hands down. If you didn't already, you can remove your feet so your toes get a rest. Keep sitting in a comfortable, steady pose as we move into the next exercise. Just watch your breath. So keep on following your breathing, following your breath, just watch it. And I want you to learn on a daily basis the breathing we have X amount of breaths given to us at birth but when we start to practicing yoga when we start to practicing meditation and pranayamas we learn how to slow down the breathing process and when you learn how to slow down the breathing process, you also learn how to slow down the mind. Because mind and the breath is one and the same. What you eat produces the mind. Some food that you eat will make the mind go quicker and the breath go quicker. And many of us, we are breathing from here. You need to learn how to breathe properly from the navel and up. So start by practicing that on a daily basis. Watch your breath, watch your breathing, and watch your mind. So, the next exercise will help you to become stronger in your arms. Many people go to the gyms, doing exercises, but you don't have to do that. You can do this exercise, that's all you need. So what we do is, we take 
a long breath in. You hold your breath. You put your arms out. And you start to drag the arms with the full power out like this. So this is a demonstration. The next round we will do it again. When the arms are fully out, you start to move the arm closer, slowly, 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 and you start to feel the sensation between your hands. You're starting to feel the chi, this life force, pranic energy between your hands. Then you slowly move the hands down sending love and light and energy to Pachamama. You put your hands down and then when you feel the connection, you feel the energy between you and the Pachamama, you move the energy up and you put them around your two centers. I will move myself a little bit up so you can see me properly then you hold your hands over the swadhisthana and over the manipura and you start to do circles circles around like this and start to sense the energy in your centers and how you start to heal yourself then you can move your hands a little bit out from your body and you keep on moving them okay and when we have done that we do the exercise one more time and this exercise we do in the set of two so we do two we do one and we move the ng down up and to our centers when you do this you can close your eyes so when you have put your arms out here you can release the breath through your nose and move your hands together. And then you can breathe naturally, you can close your eyes and you can start to work with the energy like this. So, we do it one more time together. And what is important with this exercise is that you have the mouth closed and that you put your biggest strength to move the arms out. Don't be lazy like this. You know, everyone can do like this. If you really want the effect, if you want to achieve super health, you need to, you need to do the exercises properly, all right? So we do it one more time together, or we do it in a set of two, sorry. So we do it one more, one time. We go down, we work with the centers and we do it one more time. And after we have done that, we relax and we just watch the breathing. We take rest for a few minutes. And then I will tell you what we do next. So we put our arms out fists and then you start to move them and now the hands are coming you maybe start to feel the chi the healing between your hands Coming closer and closer. Do this in a very smooth way. Now we put the hands down. Close your eyes. Feel the energy between your hands. Watch your mama. Let them be there for a while. And experience how you are sending healing energy to the earth 
and at the same time experience how you receive. Now you put your hands up and you put the left hand over your solar plexus, the manipura, and the right hand over your swadhisthana, the navel center. And you start to move the hands in circles. can play around with the direction of the sun or the other direction it doesn't matter just do a few rounds like this and then you can shift to the other direction if you want to when you're ready you put your hands up feel the healing energy between your hands and you now, if you if you are sensitive, you can experience the activation in your hands. So now we put the hands together one more time. We take one breath in, and we start. Start to move your hands together again. Slowly, slowly. Do this with control, no stress. And now you may even start to feel a stronger sensation between your hands. If you do that, you have done it correctly. You build up the energy. Move a little bit far away from each other, together, and then you start to move the energy down to the earth again. And send your love, send your light. Pachamama. Feel energy. Pranic energy. Between your hands and the earth. Now you put your hands up again. You put them over your centers and you start to do circles. If you feel for it, you can hold one hand and you can move the other hand. If you want to have a deeper sensation in one center at one time. Then you move your hands up, put them together, move them to your heart. So both of both your thumbs put it to your heart. Your heart, your soul lives in your heart. So now we will connect ourselves to our soul. So what you do now is you, you have a little pressure with the prayer on your heart. And when you breathe in, you push harder against your heart. When you breathe out, you let go. So do this with your eyes closed. So you breathe in. Push your hands. Not too hard, but so you can feel it, feel the connection with your soul. And breathe out through the nose and let go. One more time. Breathe out, let go. And we do it one more time, breathe in. And let go. Now just watch your breath. Have full attention in your heart. Just take a few a few breaths. 
long inhalation long exhalation Now, we will work with the sound ah once again. So while we're working with the sound ah, while I'm talking now, you can still have your eyes closed if you want to. We just go deeper within. So the sound ah is the sound of creation. And when we use the sound ah in our different centers from the root and up we create this will help you to awaken the kundalini so we start with the muladhara we move to the swadhisthana to the manipura to the anahata to the vishuddha to the agnya and to the crown and if you want to it is very powerful if you chant this sound together with us because when you chant this sound out loud you will go deeper within yourself so we will now move from the first center to the last center together take one breath in uh, soon move into the energy transmission because now we have work with ourselves to go into a deeper state you may feel calmer now you may feel a deeper sensation of energy deeper connection with you yourself and your surroundings so if you have any questions regarding the exercises, feel free to leave them in the comments and we'll check them out. And for all of you, those, all of, <laughs> all of you want to receive the energy transmission with uh, Shiva, leave a comment that you are ready to receive, uh, and you will be in the energy transmission. And I will be giving you sound healing with my voice and this beautiful Balinese temple instrument. So leave a comment that you are ready or open to receive or just write a yes, I'm receiving in the comments and we will add you in the transmission. Yes. So in the description, uh, I put a link to my new program. I have created a distance healing program. 
and this is something that I created because I feel that I want to share so people can get emotional help mental help physical help and spiritual help without doing an effort because many people are lazy by nature many people have issues that we can't do physical exercises we can't do certain things with and even with ourselves. if you do the exercise which we encourage you to do the healing is like a very good catalyzator catalyzator in swedish so it gives you kind of like a boost to keep going keep doing the the practice um yeah so really do the practice and the healing can be as um it's like a push yeah <laughs> it pushes you in the right direction so if you want to you can go and check the link uh when we are ready and this healing program is that you can receive healing from me every day every day for one year six months or one month and you can include your family your pets your children whatever you like and until monday i have discount of 50 percent of the program so if you act before monday you can count in on half price and the program is already really 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 discounted uh, price then usually you take one healing with shiva uh, but this is like a fraction of the price uh, already and then until monday you get half of the price uh, again yeah. and if you've never tried a healing with shiva tonight is your opportunity to try uh, one transmission for free so this person here is not the one like giving you energy or sending you energy he's just like being a channel of pure cosmic beautiful energy that goes through him and into you but the healing you are responsible responsible for the healing this is just like the same as a, a cold shower it activates your immune system the same is it with the healing it activates your own inherent healing mechanisms you have in your body so just be receptive that you want to receive uh, write a comment that you are ready to to receive yeah. and you should scroll through the comments <laughs> yeah there's a lot of comments there yeah. yes. happy happy to see happy to see so many people here and we are happy to share our sacred healing yoga with your people and uh, later this year we will also start to do classes out in the world uh, where we will teach the level one uh, for the sacred healing yoga so you will be initiated into that yoga practice so you know exactly what to do every day uh, what breathing exercises to do what physical exercises to do the meditation the kriyas food yeah a lot of things <laughs> yeah yeah so we are very happy that uh, we are able to share this with you so now i want you to come in contact with yourself i want you to go inside of your heart this will be a transmission where i will connect you to your heart heart lives here and the soul lives in the heart okay so put all your attention at this center here and if you have problem with visualization you can put your hands over your heart like this during this healing otherwise you can lay down you can sit whatever you are comfortable with and just relax While I'm doing this energy transmission, this healing, Lila will play this beautiful instrument in the background and just receive. You don't have to do anything, just receive.
just be in your heart be in your heart feel this divine love in your heart and experience how this divine love is going from the heart into all parts of your body how you now are bathing in love ask for forgiveness for something that you carry emotionally in your heart and let it go now slowly slowly come in contact with your body again and open your eyes when you are ready and if you feel that you have an urge to lay down and continue this journey do so so tomorrow there will be another session I will go live tomorrow nine o'clock Swedish time where I will work with your seven centers I will balance them I will cleanse them and I will raise the vibration I will go into auric field into your astral body and start to work with it so this is a free healing tomorrow also nine o'clock Swedish Stockholm time so if you are outside of Europe you have to check it's around 12 hours from now right or, you mean nine in the morning yeah mm -hmm. all right so if you feel that you want to continue this journey you can keep on following us we have a new website coming soon and I just posted a link in the description where you can receive this energy from me every single day if you want to and you will have a 50% discount until Monday morning so that is an option for you and we want to thank you for participating and I hope you have a great experience with both the healing and the exercises and if you have any questions we will be here a few minutes for a answering question session you can just comment in the chat if you have any questions regarding anything that we share tonight and we will gladly answer your questions Thank you, thank you for receiving, thank you for being here, sharing your presence with us. Camilla, Brigitte, Toril, Gunilla, Katarina, Madeleine, Benita, Christina. And there will Maria, be a replay Vanessa. of this event. I will Kara. save this event, so I will then put it on our website, so you always had an option to go in and watch it again to watch the exercises 
uh, and recap what you maybe missed or want to do again. Yes, you have anything you want to say? No, I just thank you for for joining for joining us. Thank you, Naila. It sounds a bit so rough and effort. Thank you. Like a feeling, um, yes, you will have the whole, yes. both of the exercises. If you go on the link that I post in the, in the description, you can scroll down a little bit because there is, the actual website is there, uh, www, uh, how it is, www.shivasidananda.com and there will be a menu called resources and under events and webinar i will put uh, i will put this up sorry where did we go what did you do now i accidentally clicked on the sorry <laughs> she's here and surfing on the net I just wanted to copy the address for you for the 50% discount and paste it in the chat. There you go. That was just the website. Oh, sorry. <laughs> she had no clue. That's <laughs> no problem. We okay, do it so like this. Slash link. There we go. There. Oh, it's here already. No, you are here. No, here. So thank you all so much for joining us tonight. It was a pleasure to serve with Sacred Healing Yoga. And I hope that the airports are opened up uh, soon and we can have workshops uh, together both in Sweden, Bali, Spain. If you can pass it, it didn't work. Paste? Yeah, it worked. Awesome. Yes, I will put it on the YouTube channel as well. Uh, it will be on the YouTube channel. You can always go here on the Facebook, and I will put it on our uh, new website, where you always can go and uh, listen to it again, watch it again. And uh, there is also a music section on our website, where we will post our new music, uh, which is available for streaming. And if you want to support us, you can always uh, buy the music. So you can download it and have it on your phone, uh, your computer, whatever. There will also be a um, mantra library where we will put up mantras. So you can uh, study, listen to different mantras. And yeah, we will put a lot of stuff in there so you can have a nice place to study and have fun with. All right, thank you so much for tonight. See you soon. See you. And tomorrow, 9 o'clock Swedish time, there will be another healing session with me. So you are very welcome. Uh, you can find the event on my Facebook page. So just join if you want to and share it to friends who wants to participate. Okay, so we are finished. All right. All right. Bless See you, you guys. all. Namaste. Bye bye. Namaste.